it was 2 a.m. standing in my kitchen throwing up in the sink and pooping my pants so I've literally been standing here for like 10 minutes just just trying to figure out what to say because I literally haven't filmed a video in like over two months now some of you may be saying but Jesse you've only been gone for one month and the other 95% of you are saying you were gone but let me explain so yes I have been gone for like a month um, there are reasons I will explain most of you probably don't care but I will explain anyways so where do I even begin I guess I should start by saying yes part of the reason has been I've just been lazy and not wanting to film and I have been feeling uninspired and pretty much just lazy to be honest but there are also two other reasons as to why I have not been uploading so yes the reason that I haven't filmed in two months is because I stock filmed a bunch of videos before Christmas so sometime in December and now it is almost March so it's been a while so first of all if you haven't seen my why YouTube sucks video then go check it out but also <laughs> I explain in that video that yes YouTube has changed it would seem like I used to get around a thousand to thousand five hundred views easily for a video in a week um, all of a sudden it jumped down to about 400 views in a week and that is obviously a big difference so I me being a perfectionist I can't stand like uploading a video and knowing it has so much potential and it only reaches like like not even halfway like so yes, I was I was only uploading a video every other week for a while because I had all these videos, but I was like, like this one didn't get very many views, and I want to like, I, I try to let them reach at least a thousand views before uploading another one, which I know might be stupid because then I become less relevant and then I get even less views, and it's kind of like an endless circle of despair. I don't know. I just I can't. Ugh. So <laughs> furthermore, I am going to try to film a video every week and upload every week. Um, I'm not making any promises because I'm, I'm assuming I'm still not going to make it to a thousand every week, which is going to drive me a little insane. But hey, if you guys want to help me out, if you like my videos, feel free to share them. And also, what I didn't mention in my Why YouTube Sucks video, click the bell. Click the bell. That's what I've been hearing everywhere and I'm seeing why, so click that bell. If you don't know what I'm talking about, now when you subscribe to someone, that doesn't pretty much mean anything. <laughs> In order to actually be notified that they made a video, you have to also click the bell that's next to the subscribe button. So if you have been subscribed for a while or you are a new subscriber, then feel free to go ahead and click that little bell icon so that, you know, you can actually see my videos and also, you know, it's all about them views, you know, so. The other reason that I haven't uploaded in a month because I just haven't really been able to film for the majority of the time because I have been sick and I have been sick like multiple times each time with a different illness and maybe I'm just dying I don't know so the first one was the worst of it I will explain it to you slightly um, it was the flu the stomach flu and it was the type where you simultaneously throw up and shit your pants all at the same time yes that literally happened to me like I said, <laughs> I'm not going to go into much detail, it wasn't one of the shining moments of my life. I was literally, it was 2 a.m., standing in my kitchen, throwing up in the sink, and pooping my pants. Oh, yes, just I love, I love, I love illness and life, and just, that was a great moment. Yep. Thankfully, once that passed, I got sick again. Okay, I don't know why I said thankfully, it was not thankfully, but thankfully it was just a cold this time and not... No more poop in my pants, thankfully. Now I've said thankfully like four times, and now I just I feel like I should redo that whole thing. But I'm not going to because I'm lazy. Okay, moving on. So, then I just got a cold, like I said, and it was just head cold, so I couldn't breathe, and it was like a cough, and it kind of a sore throat. Just a typical head cold. But then, after that finally cleared up, I was like, alright, nothing else can happen. Like, I'm good now. No. I woke up one morning, and my eye hurt. And I was like... Okay, this is weird. I, it literally feels like somebody stabbing me in my eyeball. And I had fallen asleep in my contacts the night before, so I assumed that was the problem. So after I realized that the pain was intense, I decided to take out my contact, thinking that would solve the problem. Well, it did not. Um, the contact was out. 
I checked my eye, I was like, there must be something in my eye. Like, it wouldn't just hurt this bed for no reason. Nothing in my eye. Just felt like somebody was stabbing it. And yes, it was getting all red and irritated, and I, like, pretty much couldn't stop crying out of it because it just hurt so bad. So I assumed that I had scratched it. That's literally, I, I never went to the eye doctor because, you know, money and I'm poor and... I really don't like eye doctors, my eyes are very sensitive and they just freak me out. I can't even like use eye drops, I just, I can't. So after I took out my contact and it was still hurting, I was like, well screw this, I'm gonna put my contact back in, which, listen, I know that's like what not to do, like if you're having eye pain, that's like top of the list, like what you're not supposed to do is put your contacts in. But the only pair of glasses that I have are super old and so I can't really see with those and so I was like, well I'm not gonna go blind all day because I literally like, my vision is the worst, like I can't, like. Not wearing contacts is just not an option. So I put it back in, and right when I put it back in, it stopped hurting. And I was really confused. And then about 10 minutes later, it started hurting again, and I was like, oh, okay. Yep, there it is. So basically, um, it was a series of that for the rest of the day. I would get maybe a couple hours off of the pain, thankfully. It would, it would just kind of go away for no reason. And then it would just show up randomly again for like 10 to 15 minutes, and you know, it would feel like somebody's stabbing me in the eye. And then it would just go away again. So I really don't know what that was. My eye seems better at this point. It's been maybe a week or two. And my eye seems to be healed. Or whatever. Because <laughs> I still don't know what the heck happened. But thankfully it is back to normal. And I'm not sick anymore. At least for now. Let's, let's hope that stays that way. So, furthermore. <laughs> I guess that was just the update. I hope you guys enjoyed the update. I felt I owed you guys some sort of explanation. And I'm sure you guys were all dying to know that I shit my pants, because who wouldn't want to tell the world about that, am I right? So, <laughs> if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below letting me know, have you ever shit your pants? Because it'd be nice to know if there was like someone else out there that was as demoralized as I am. Um, but also, subscribe if you are new and you are not subscribed yet and you would like to see a video similar to this one. And I'm also going to mention to click the bell now in the end of my videos because that is very important apparently now. So subscribe and click the bell. Also, last thing, I don't know if you know this or not, but I do always leave my social media links down below. So if you would like to check me out on those, then feel free to go do that. Alright, I guess that is it. So I will see you guys next week with another video. And yeah, the end. <laughs>